I am going to talk about um, some hair and some body stuff and then we're gonna wrap up this video so continuing on with my empties I just want to talk about this brand um, OGX Beauty Pure and Simple I've been a huge fan of them for a while I feel like they were the first brand to do like that trendy like clean cut um like clean cut like get to the point like they, if their stuff's not gimmicky like they just have they don't even really have a symbol for their brand a little bit but um this these are the products that, that I, I have i have been using i was blonde and I, if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i've dyed my hair on and off for the last couple years but i was blonde i think all the way up to january from the summer of September no from like August until January so I had like six months of being blonde and it is crucial if you are a blonde girl to use a toner with purple tunnel in it shampoo conditioner all that kind of stuff and so this conditioner really held me the fuck down um this is the lavender one okay come on get it together thank you um, this one held me the fuck down. This is the Lavender Platinum. It had UVA, UVB sun filters in it. I don't know if it had all that, but it smelled it smelled amazing. If I went blonde, I would totally go back to this conditioner. I wasn't crazy about the shampoo, but that was okay for me because I think conditioner, especially when you dye your hair, and I'm currently like a, a burgundy right now. Not a burgundy. I'm more on like the orangey kind of sizzling Cooper. Cooper? Cooper. Copper beige mommy kind of thing like that's what i have going on and so this color it may wash out it, i'll talk about that in a second but if i was to go back to blonde i would i would repurchase this again if at the moment i'm not blonde this was a really good it lasted long which i really like compared to this other conditioner i feel like i flew through this um Procoxy, Procoxy recovery oil. It was very moisturizing. I probably won't purchase this again. I have a little bit more product in here, so I just wanted to like hurry up and review it on my on my empties video. But I I I don't know why I just really love this one a lot more. I didn't use a lot, and I have always had sort of like this short hair. I kept cutting my hair and dyeing it and cutting it and dyeing it. And I use this, and I felt like this kept it alive as much as possible. What I would have, if I could turn back the hands of time, or maybe for next time. I would put the just a tad bit of hair dye in this one just to keep the blonde going and I feel like I would I just really would would have been like extremely happy it was super moisturizing I feel like it it, it just like did the job and compared to this one I want to find out if they even have something for like um you know this color here like the reddish brown to keep the color vivacious so I've been using the L'Oreal Technique excellent high color brand for a very long time I would say almost three years I randomly discovered them in um I think Sally's Beauty when I was at my mom's house in in Florida or something like that and I was I've been in I've like been insanely a fan like I'm hardcore for this brand if you have really dark hair like like I do like right now it's it's sizzling copper but it's it's like ginger in a sense that's what I, the word I've been trying to say is ginger if you have dark hair if you go to this brand and you get a de uh, developer of 30 it'll get that color whether it's purple red blonde it will get there but it has to be that natural black it can't like be pre-dyed because whatever is in this bitch is strength this particular color I've used for the last couple of years I enjoy I'm gonna insert a picture I love being a ginger sizzling copper like this is like my summertime color and I've been wanting to do this color for probably three years um I like the color I have now but it's been more ginger before I think what fucked me up was being putting the color ginger this is from adore um I bought this kind of randomly it's a semi-permanent it's vegan and cruelty free which is really nice um I think this is nice if you have wigs or like people who do wigs you know what I'm talking about these are the brands that you use to dye the hair whereas if you want to actually dye your hair I think this high color is a better option it does come with um where is it this little like extra it's like it's so strong that's why I like it because when you have dark hair it's really hard for it to even get there 
The reason I purchased this is because I wanted to dye my hair and I wanted to be ginger. I was obsessed with ginger for I have been obsessed with just being ginger and blonde. Those are like those, those are my extremities. Like two, two of them, right? And so a girl had recommended this to me and she was like, without having to bleach, you can you can get here. And I've been hooked ever since. And what's nice about it, it's got it's got an extra copper intensifier. So so when you first put it on, it's like my hair was was orange and I was like, fuck, I don't want to be orange, it looks tacky. Then washed out, it's like exactly what I wanted so um, if you do see a bright color don't the mix and the final product are, are not gonna look the same and that's what's nice it literally surprised and delighted me I will continue to keep purchases I think L'Oreal um, kind of changed the game with this this has been around a long time if I wanted to come, become purple I would totally use this color in terms of this one I probably won't be purchasing this again I'm gonna stick to this especially when my hair grows out and more people need to review lotions because I a whipped lotion moisturizer kind of girl and I feel like I never know what to buy and like I'll read review I'm a person that reads reviews for everything I just want to know what people think about things sometimes it sways me sometimes it doesn't but Nivea I feel like has always ran the game of moisturizer so much so that I had the audacity to buy the fucking cheap version the up and up and now I regret it because it just doesn't have it just doesn't have the intensity that Nivea has. It smells really nice, but did they stop putting, okay. The only little, it's actually a huge beefing to me. I don't like mineral oil, and I feel like that's how they get that really thin consistency, because I think what they do is with the shea butter and the, and the coconut, uh, the cocoa seed butter, they really whip it, and I think the mineral oil breaks it down. Let me see if it's in this one. See, no, they put jojoba in it. I, I fuck with that. They don't have... All right, look at me complaining and shit. <laughs> so this is the Target brand. I like it. I don't love it. But I do love that they don't have mineral oil in it. And Nivea, I feel like, has always, for years, had mineral oil. Now that I know that, I don't know if I would purchase it. That's frustrating. I just don't like mineral oil. It just feels really cheap, but it doesn't for this one. Let me tell you something. If you are ashy, I'm talking about ashy, even if you put all the oils on your body and you still become ash, this is the brand that's the, if you don't care about ingredients and you're not on the organic and like clean wave, you're just like, I wanna moisturize my body. I'm not shaming those people. Do what you do because I eat clean and organic and I like my vitamins and stuff, but I definitely had a Popeye sandwich the other day. Like it's not a, it's not a big deal to me. But if you're somebody who needs things to be like clean, then this definitely isn't the product for you. And I wouldn't recommend purchasing it but if you don't care and you want to be moisturized in Nivea's way I don't know if I will purchase it again just because I don't really like that it has mineral oil I don't think that that's good for your skin but to each their own this was a really good product I will say that I will say that this is a really good product the only little beefing tip I have in it is that there's still lotion I, but I think this is a beefing tip with every brand that there's always a little bit of lotion still left and no matter how long you leave it upside down that bitch is still gonna have lotion in it like it's it's really fucking annoying rose vanilla schmidt's mineral enriched natural deodorant I bought this on a whim I don't like it I wouldn't repurchase it I would not recommend it the cap broke the piece the only thing is I really look, I didn't think I was gonna like rose and vanilla together. This is not the deodorant you wear if you smell funky. This is for base coming over and you wanna put on deodorant because you don't wanna really be, you know, smoky. But you wanna smell like a divine, beautiful goddess and this is it. But in terms of like being a antiperspirant, no. It's a de it's a deodorant, but it's really not deodorizing your smell. But I've I have found that the only way to really deodorize your smell is by taking chlorophyll or having a specific diet so when i say that i don't have a specific diet i try to cut back meat as much as possible i cut back meat because i hate the fact that like my body odor smells certain ways so i started taking chlorophyll to help with that. i have immediately seen the results in it and it's it's changed a lot but the only re the only thing is that i feel like my 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 like chemical compound breakdown just has a really strong odor and i i really despise it so i'm still in the hunt i have two Two more deodorants i right now have this native one that smells like vanilla and chai or something like that and then i have the la vanilla i hate everything i have 
found my perfect deodorant but I threw away the bottle and didn't write it down. A friend of mine gave it to me because she was working at Whole Foods and I have yet to find a deodorant. So one of these days, I should probably get up and do that now. Walk to, to freaking Whole Foods and try to find that deodorant because it's a lifesaver. This isn't the deodorant for that. One of the reasons why I don't recommend it, the smell is really nice. It's super calming and it's kind of sexy. My problem with it is this piece would always come out and, I, and the piece would come out even way before I even got down because you know when you it starts to get num nummy or nubby it starts to fall out no this bitch will fall fucking fall out any chance that it, that it got and that that got annoying because then once it touched the floor you're like who wants to put that in their fucking pits nobody so i would definitely not be repurchasing this or i'm so, kind of sad that this is this is a big bottle i got this for five bucks i might repurchase it who knows then thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel liking subscribing i'm so proud of myself for getting to 250 subscribers it feels amazing because i've worked really hard for it but then i've also kind of just like gone with the flow and i appreciate everybody who continues to watch my channel even though i'm not as consistent as most youtubers it feels authentic to me to just do my thing and do the way i want to do it so um the last thing i just want to mention is that i do have a tarot channel so if you guys are interested in watching my tarot channel it'll be listed and linked in um the bio or all you know it's linked somewhere in here um and if you're interested i post probably like um I mean like three or four times um, a month in terms of like a monthly, a weekly, and like an angel reading. So that's sort of what has my time and attention in addition to how I job. I'm a multi-dimensional bitch. I just like to do a couple different things. And if you're interested in staying connected to me, all of my socials are listed below. And all of my other um, accounts are listed as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.